Welcome to PubSite, the easy to use website builder designed specifically for books and authors. This is an introductory video, which will show you the main features of PubSite and how to use them. At the end of this video, you will be able to set up your own website in less than an hour. So let's do that. The first thing you'll do is go to our website at pubsitepro.com. We have offer a 14 day free trial where you can go in, set up an account, set up a website, try it out for 14 days and see if it's for you. There's no credit card required at that time. So let's do that. First, you enter your website address. In most cases, this would be your name and then it would be .pubsitepro.com. This is a fully functioning domain name that you can use, or you can go to someplace like GoDaddy or Network Solutions, register your own domain name of your choice, and we will show you how to use it in another video. Put in your email address and password, click the sign up button, and you are off and running. The first page you come to is your dashboard. You first put in a website name, which would be obviously your name. This is what will appear in the header at the top of the website. If you're doing a website for an individual book, you may put the title there. Then we move on to design. Here are a number of designs and we are constantly adding new ones. And each design has multiple color schemes. This is the medium blue, you could have olive, you want to go dark you could have purple black so you can choose a professionally done color scheme with these designs we also offer the ability to customize them this will be in a separate video in which we will go into detail but as you see here we have a magic slider where you can change the entire color scheme if you wanted to you can change individual colors you can use images instead of text here. You can design your own header and upload it. And you can change all of the fonts on the website individually or together. Let's cancel that though, uh, cause we'll deal with that in another video. Next thing you do is you go to the authors tab. This is where you enter yourself as an author. You would just click here upload a photo, but we're not going to fill this in here. We're going to work with one already created. Okay, so once you have created the author, added the author, it will appear here. You click on the little pencil, and as you see, we have the author name, and then you have the short bio and the long bio. Social links for your, say, Facebook page. You just go to your Facebook uh, page, copy the URL, come back here and paste it in. These are the follow me buttons and they will appear on your site when you paste these URLs in. We also offer Goodreads, Pinterest, and Instagram, among others. To add video to your site, it's very simple. You upload your video to someplace like Vimeo or YouTube and just go there, look for the share or embed. So for example, if you were going to feature this video, you click on share and then embed and you copy this little paragraph right here where you click there where it says copy. It's been copied to the clipboard, come back, paste it in and you're all good to go. Next is appearances. We have a full appearance module. To add one, you just fill out a form. Notes is for the description, such as signing uh, or reading. Okay, so that's it for the, uh, the author, except just to point out that we do have a full blog, and this works the same way, just to add a blog article, put in the date, the title, intro, and full blog post. So that is it for authors. Now you're going to add books or other products. And this works the same way. Just click add. Start off with the title or name. Put in the ISBN 13. 
and then you can set up any categories you want and apply them to the books. In this way, you can set up different pages for different categories. Book details. This is more details uh, on the book. Let's just jump to one that's already been created. These are all industry standard fields, so they would match up with any publisher or distributor you're working with. You fill in as much as you want here. Descriptions, we have uh, short and long again, and you can add in images if you want, uh, make links or format it in any way. Images, this is where you upload your book cover. So you just click here, go find it, And as you can see, we've added this one a number of times, or you can just drag it from your desktop and it'll upload. So for this book, this is actually the correct cover. So let's double click on it. And it's now the cover for that book. Hit update product, always hit update when leaving a page. Search engine optimization, you can just fill in the basics here or fill it into any extent you want. Purchase links work the same way as the follow me buttons. If you want these buttons with your book uh, to link to these booksellers, just go to that page on the site, copy the URL and come back and paste it in here. Then hit update. Audio and video works the same way here as the author one, uh, except this one will appear on the book page beneath the description. The author one obviously appears on the author bio page. Okay, that's it for adding books. I think right now what we'll do is take a quick look at what we've created so far. We named the website, we chose a design and customized it if we wanted to. We added you as an author and we added, I added a few books here, but we showed you how to do that. So now let's take a look at our website. This is the website. So after just that small amount of effort, uh, you now have a professional looking website. Here's the author bio, the follow me buttons, go to, go to about the author, here's the video that we put in, and here's the appearances that have been entered. Products, I will show you how to change this menu. Obviously, this is probably not ideal for your situation, but here are the categories that we have set up, fiction, nonfiction, and here's a uh, this will take you to a list of all books. And here you'll see uh, all the books listed. We go to one of the books. And as you see, here are the uh, bookseller buttons right here that we have pasted in the URLs for. The book cover we uploaded. An image that we had inserted in the text. Here's the video for the book. Probably, most likely this would be a book trailer. Okay, so you see everything that you can uh, add to a book page. Contact form is built in. All you need to do, which we'll show you in another video, is choose an email address to which the message will be sent. Okay, so there we are. Now we're gonna go back and look at the menu in greater detail and our sidebar column over here. And that falls under pages and navigation. This is essentially your menu here. This my account only comes into play if you've activated e-commerce, which we offer and it's included. So since we're not using it, let's just put it over here. Okay, so now this is what you had as your menu, home about the author products contact. So what we'll do I said this one maybe not, doesn't work quite as well as you need it to. So let's pull this over here. And then we can just bring the books one back. That will bring you to a listing of your books. And since we also have a few blog posts, we've started writing those. Let's grab this and bring it over here. Click Save Changes. Now we come back and hit Refresh, and now that's our menu. We have about the author. We now have the blog. Click to read more. And we have a button that now just goes straight to the books page. 
You can have the categories as I showed you before if you want to split them out into categories and your contact form. Now let's take a look at the sidebar, which you'll find right here. Okay, this is what's in your sidebar now. Uh, author, the follow me buttons, the latest blog post, the featured book, mailing list, and Facebook feed. And that's exactly what you have here. These are automatically generated. The mailing list, we encourage you to sign up with a mailing list service like MailChimp or Constant Contact. And all you do is once you've signed up and go into your account, they have a place where you can create a sign up form and you would look for one to embed into your website. And again, they just give you a little paragraph of code and you come back here, paste it in and you have a sign up form on your site. Likewise, go to your Facebook page and we have a link right here that might help you and you can find out how to find the code to embed your Facebook feed onto your website. Once you find it, you highlight it, copy it, bring it back here and paste it in. You can do the same thing with Twitter or you can add new widgets to put in pretty much anything you want. Okay, so that's now we've covered the website uh, name the design and whether we want to customize it, author, books, pages and navigation, and that's pretty much it. You now have a website. What we did just now, uh, you could do easily within an hour and have your own website up and running. I hope you found this video useful and please watch the others that go into all the different subject areas. Thank you.